Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for May 13th through the 19th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aries. <clears throat> Ooh, the overall energy for the reading, the moon. Um, bum, ba -dum, ba -ba -ba -bum. There's quite a few things going on here, but I feel like a lot of these things you may not be aware of fully quite yet. Uh, it's one of those readings where it looks like stuff is happening, but it's coming to fruition. Well, you're coming into it some, sometime here in the immediate future, so it's just a matter of energetical shifts at play for now. But in the recent past, the Five of Pentacles, the Devil, the Four of Pentacles. There's something here that completed, something that might have ended, something you may have suffered a loss of some sort, and there's a lot of denial with that, so there's not a drop of acceptance here on your side. And it's just coming in as an energy that's not healthy for you, not good for you, you know? You hanging on to this like, no, this is not happening, no, you know? Just not accepting anything out of the situation. Um, in the current situation, the Seven of Swords, the King of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, you're 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 looking like you you turn you definitely flipped the page here on this one, in the sense of trying your best to move on. So at least from a practical standpoint, you're in a place of okay, I gotta do it. You know, I gotta move on. I gotta find something, create something for myself, potentially away from this situation. You know, so you're looking more at least from a headspace, um, it makes sense that you would move on. Oop, hold on, I forgot to place my rocks on my cards. Anyways, in the immediate future, the Emperor, the Four of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, there seems to be a commitment of some sort coming together. Uh, you're looking to be part of it. You're looking to be feeling really good to be part of it and really wanting to invest in it. You know, so, okay, let's clarify. <clears throat> it's not windy, there's just some pale, pale winds at times where it's like, I'm like, okay, no. So it's actually pretty calm today, wind-wise, and now you see a whirlwind of cards flying. Anyways, for the moon, you get the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Sun. Yeah, you're more ready than you think to actually proceed in a particular situation to move ahead with something. You're actually quite eager from what you're showing me energetically speaking. The thing is you're not yet fully embodying this energy. So even though you're ready, you may not feel ready at this point in time. But the energy that's coming in from you know a deeper level of where you're at, um, not only does it seem ready, it seems also... Um, quite convinced that things are not going to be just okay, but perfect, you know. Um, so that's a good energy to carry. Let's do the five of pentacles in the recent past. Okay, I'm going to have to... There it is. It's coming, I feel it. Uh, for the five of pentacles, you get the high priestess, the emperor, the seven of swords. Okay. See, because from a higher level perspective, when this situation showed up as, okay, that's it, you know, whether it was a loss or somebody leaving or you leaving or some, something happening, or there's a split in energies, um, from a higher self perspective, you're giving me a sense of acceptance and, okay, I know what I have to do, you know. Um, but you struggled with this because you weren't necessarily aligned with your higher self here. So, a little bit struggling. Let's do the devil. <clears throat> the star, the three of pentacles, the page of pentacles. Uh, 
Um, yeah, the thing is, you weren't accepting because you couldn't perceive things going on without this other energy by your side, whatever that, that was. You know, you wanted this and it should have happened just because you wanted it to happen, you know? And that was the, the, the way you were thinking at that time. But I feel like you've learned a lot even through thinking that. Not at the time you were doing it though, because you were like, nope, no, no, this is not going to end. I'm not going to let this happen, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know how we do, all of us when we don't accept things as they are. Um, let's do the Four of Pentacles. In the recent past, the Chariot, the Eight of Cups, the Five of Cups. So it was a lot to deal with to begin with. The situation is splitting up like that, whatever the situation was. Uh, the thing is, when you hang on to it like that and refuse to accept it for what it is, you make it even worse for you. In the sense of you're going through a whole lot of commotion there, emotional commotion. Uh, from not wanting to feel shit to feeling everything so intensely that it's like, oh my god, what what is going on, you know? So it was definitely quite quite the lesson to, to learn here. Again, not as you were going through it, because you didn't see it necessarily as a lesson, you saw it as tor torture, potentially, you know? Definitely looking at the universe and being like, the universe is out to get me with this one. Um, not realizing it was you all along that created this whole madness that you went through by lack of accepting things as they were, yeah. But <clears throat> let me do the Seven of Swords in the current situation, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups. You're doing way better here. Um, again, there's a sense of balance that's being acquired. There's a sense of acceptance that, okay, maybe things aren't working out. That doesn't necessarily mean that um, I have to stop caring about the situation or the person or, you know, my heart is still fully open towards this, but in the physical, it stands as it does. So I'm going to have to go in that direction. There's a pretty loud robin around here today. I'm not sure why it's pretty loud. No, okay. Uh, let's do the King of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Tower. <clears throat> Doing way better than you were just a minute ago there, energetically speaking, and there's a, there's a, whew, like the strong sense of balance that you came into, basically, <laughs> it kind of scares you from what I can see here, like you're, you're sitting in this place and you're like, man, this feels good, this feels so good, okay, I'm okay, you know, and it almost feels like, again, it almost feels like it's a little scary for you to feel this way, so balanced after you've gone through that over there, yeah, um, proceed here because I don't know why every time I decide okay I'm gonna do the readings outside the whole day is thinking quiet and calm wind wise and then the minute I open the open up the energies I'm like where is this coming from it's the universe it has something against me and the reading right um for the ten of pentacles uh you get the king of swords the hierophant the four of swords um yeah a lot of it comes from a mind perspective though like there's a, a really well put together kind of energy of balance from the mind perspective so um your heart is in there too but you're giving me a sense of keeping it together from a logical perspective which is perfect if it gets the job done i don't care if it looks balanced if your mind looks balanced when you're bringing it to the table perfect use it use it and abuse it as much as you want there um but you are inclined to go at things from that logical perspective because i feel like you got something on your mind too in terms of maybe you've made a plan for you you know this these next moves what they're gonna look like what they're gonna be and you need that sense of logic to it too you're, you're holding it together here, big time. 
keeping it straight. Um, I don't even know where you flipped that page, but you did at some point. And just a sense of stability within you that, you know, I don't even know if you've been in this kind of energy before like this, like so strong. For the Emperor in the immediate future, you get the Three of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups. Okay, and now really addressing, you know, uh, matters of the heart here, because there is some pain attached to you. And you know that, you're showing me, yeah, I know there's this situation, I need to get a handle on it, I need to heal that. And it has to do with this past situation for sure. Yeah, there's another energy that's coming through. This is a new one. Almost helping you out here as you kind of go and work on the past situation. There's another that is around and it's very helpful without even trying to or something like that. Four of Wands in the immediate future. The Three of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's like... As you go through one experience and heal that and you know kind of go through the steps of dealing with whatever the hell happened there in a more healthy way than you did in the past uh there's something else coming together in a beautiful way but i don't think i don't feel like it's planned i don't feel like you're pursuing that necessarily it just happens um because it's like that energy of loss is surrounded by a beautiful energy of love so as one heals the other one comes in to, to add to it I don't know, it's beautiful the way it's coming in. Quite surprising too. But it's also feeling quite natural. So, let's do the Seven of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Six of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Mm, there's still stuff that you're rejecting when it comes to healing and the full acceptance over whatever the hell happened. Like. Okay, you're healing your share of things. You're healing the pain you carry through that situation and all of that. When it comes to the actual ending of the situation, um, there's still some resistance in accepting it fully. For how it happened, for why it happened in that way, for, for just the fact that it happened. You know, There's still a lack of acceptance there at the end of it all. Even through, okay, we're flipping the page and we're healing this time, you know? Um, you'll get there, and it's just going to take a little more time, but you'll definitely get there. See, the train says so too. Let me see what the universe has. As a final advice. Yeah, something's coming together really, really nicely here from multiple angles and from different levels too. There's the emotional one too, there's the stability one. Page of Cups, Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're creating something beautiful here. Even though you're starting off from a more logical perspective here and more of a... More of a, okay, I got a plan and we got to stick to the plan and... A lot of the times when that happens, people forget to involve their heart. But as I said, there's a natural coming in of the emotional aspect too, which adds to it. And then you're ending up creating something quite beautiful. Um, <clears throat> potentially even better than you had planned. So, pretty cool reading. You started off a little stubborn, a little, you know, I'm not going to accept this. And I'm not going to understand that I'm actually harming myself by doing that, but... And then kind of turning it out, back around in a beautiful way for you uh, with brand new energies that are coming in to help you out through this healing. So pretty nice. But that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.